Mori, and today we're going to be making Mizori's Top from Rosario Vampire. So, let's get started. To make the pattern for Mizori's sweatshirt, I started by taking a sweater that I already owned, turned it inside out, and then I used that to trace around as a base to create the patterns for her sweater out of some tissue paper. So I've got the base bodice and I just made it a little bit more of a scoop neck than the original sweater. Also drew a design for the pocket on the front and did the sleeves and then just increased the bottom of the sleeve to make it a bit more bell shape. Cut the sleeve pieces out of some dark blue fleece. Then we're going to sew them together along the top and along the bottom. Then turn the sleeve right side out and hem the bottom edge. If you are making the anime version of this costume, you can just leave the bottom of the sleeves plain, but I wanted to add a little bit more detail, so I'm making the manga version where she has these ribbons in her sleeves. So I just used some plain yellow ribbon, cut it into little tiny pieces. We're going to fold the edges over, and I hand sewed them along the edge of the sleeve and then also made a bow with some ribbon and sewed on some pom-poms onto the end. Use the pattern that we made earlier to cut the front of the shirt on the fold out of some white fleece. For the pocket, I made a pocket pattern. It's going to be cut on the fold and then also made a pattern for the little green pieces at the top. So we're gonna cut the pocket out of white fleece and then two of the side pieces out of mint fleece. Then we're going to sew the side pieces along the top on either side of the pocket. Fold the mint piece back over and now we're going to sew it down along the outer edge. Then we're going to sew on buttons onto either side of the mint pieces. Then sew the pocket onto the front of the shirt along the top, then along the sides, down along the bottom, and back up, leaving the mint pieces open so that you can still use them as pockets. For the back of the shirt, we're going to use the same pattern that we used for the front, except instead of cutting it on the fold, we're going to add a little bit extra for seam allowance and cut it so there is a seam in the back. Putting right sides together, sew the back of the top to the front along the side seams. Next we're going to open up the shirt so that the side seam is in the center. Then we're going to take a strip of the mint colored fleece and sew it along either side on top of the side seams. Sew the shirt together along the tops of the shoulders and along the center back seam. Then we're going to hem the neckline of the shirt. For the bottom trim of the shirt, we're going to cut a rectangle out of some of more of the mint fleece, fold it in half, and sew it together along the side. Fold the mint fleece in half, then we're going to put right sides together and sew it along the bottom of the shirt. Then sew the sleeves onto the bodice, and with that, Mizori's shirt is done. I ended up being pretty happy with how this turned out, except I did end up adding a little bit of a dart to the back. Um, it's not the most appealing dart in the world, but that was because I couldn't take it in on the sides with the uh, mint color material being there. So that is one change that I would make if I was to remake this outfit. I hope you found this video helpful. For more tutorials on how to make the rest of Missouri's outfit, please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.